there, I just wanted to take a minute and make a short video to help you understand how accessibility can affect branding. Now, this is my business website, which is kind of shameful. Um, I'm in the process of making it more accessible. And one of the things that I am struggling with is this green because this which is actually darker than the green in the logo. Now the logo does not need to meet any color contrast requirements, but the text does. And I have darkened this green and it's not really noticeable that it's different from that green too much unless you really look for it. But the problem is that if I check the contrast of this text, this green on white does not give me sufficient contrast ratio. It needs to be three to one for this size and it's less than that. So I can darken it, but the darker that it goes, the less it's looking like it's part of that original color palette. So one of the things I'm trying to figure out is how do I want to address this? Because I, I, my main two colors are the light green and the gray, and then the purple is a secondary color, but in order to address this, I might need to lighten it again to its original green, which is this, and then put it on a purple background. But I don't want to do that because I don't think that would look good. But I need to fix it. But there's not just one way I can approach this. There's different ways. So I'm contemplating how I best want to do that. Now, where it's used in, like, as a border or as a decoration, that's okay. That doesn't need to meet contrast requirements, but the text does, and it's very important that it does for users with low vision. So when you're thinking about, <clears throat> when you're thinking about logo design, when you're thinking about color palettes, this is really a crucial, crucial thing to consider. I've remediated some InDesign files that have had color combinations that don't work. And I've either had to modify the colors, lighten or darken them in order to get them to work together, or I've had to completely change which colors they use. And depending on how many colors they have, I mean, I might be introducing a new color. So it's very important to understand how accessibility and specifically color contrast is going to affect, you know, what you're designing for that brand.